didn't you write this code? Okay, listen, don't tell the boss or anybody else, but I just copy and pasted that code from Stack Overflow and it seems to be working. What? No, 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 you can't do that. Don't you understand switch map? No. Who do I look like? Ben Lesh? Mapping <laughs> from one observable to oh, multiple observables. Stop observ what you're doing! What? Stop! Stop! <laughs> it's Reactive Teacher Man! Hi. Do you know Angular? Yes, I do. I have about 10 years of experience. 10 years? <laughs> Who are you, Mishko Heavery? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Great, you hired him. Yeah. Let me sprinkle some reactive teacher man magic on top of it. <laughs> now you can run the code. Wow. Thanks, reactive teacher man. Hold on, hold on. What? No, that's all 2017. We don't chain map operators anymore. Uh, you need a pipe method there. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, I knew that. Okay. So the modern way of doing it is to put the map functions into a pipe call, and then this makes the code tree shakeable. <laughs> then, watch this. Since we subscribe, inside the subscribe, we get each individual backbone recruit in the console log. Right. And See, it works. Yeah. And when you subscribe inside a subscribe, that is called flattening the observable. Flattening. Well, duh. We never fired the first agency. Yes. If you remember that when uh, Kevin, the CEO, hired the Angular uh, agency, he then immediately fired the Backbone agency. Of course, he didn't have to do that. He could have chosen not to fire the Backbone agency and to get all recruits from both agencies. And this is exactly what's happening in our code. Okay. And when you flatten it, you then need to make a decision? Correct. Right, we need a flattening strategy. A, a strategy of what to do with all those recruit subscriptions. Yes, whenever you flatten, you need a flattening strategy. Flattening, flattening strategy. strategy. <laughs> okay, unsubscribing from the previous observable before subscribing to the new one is called the switch strategy? Yes, exactly. Right. And we can get rid of all of that scary code and just replace it with a single call to switch map. No, no, no. It's not magic, dude. It's just code. The switch map strategy uh, does look like a magical thing which uh, maps agencies to individual recruits in a sequence. But if we look under the hood, we see that it just does these three things. It maps the agency to a recruits observable, it then subscribes to this recruits observable, and this flattens the observable, and then it applies the switch strategy, unsubscribing from the previous recruits observable before subscribing to the new one. And this is... Switch map! Switch map! Switch map! All of this actually makes sense. Did I just learn switch map? I believe you have. <laughs> Thanks, reactive teacher man. Now I understand how the, my uh, autocomplete component actually works. Oh, it was a group effort. <laughs> but now my work here is done. 